Alright everyone, welcome back to your Brigandine L.O.R. Knight roster. So today we're going to be covering Ginny, who is a Viking in this game. And so let's go right into this. But uh, before we do, if you enjoy this kind of content, this is something that uh, uh, you found some favor with, please consider liking and subscribing. That would help the channel grow. So let's get into it here. So what Ginny is when you start the game is he is a powerful attacker slash tank. Uh, as you see here with the uh, the attack up to 199, uh, this is a character that is, has been grown a little bit, but not too much because he starts, you know, right on the uh, teeter edge of being third class. So you see the attack with 199, that's extremely powerful in comparison to most of the other uh, Vikings or Berserkers of this class and this level. The only other person that kind of compares to him in the game is Hazroff, but he hails from a different country. So you got two characters that are kind of the same in this game uh, with attack and agility. And uh, let's talk about Ginny a little bit. So we have 781 HP with him so far. Very, very good. Very strong, very good in the front lines. Uh, protect spell with him would go a very long way. Uh, we have 199 attack, which is exceptionally powerful. The only downside to it is the agility. His agility growth is quite low. Uh, it's only at 42, which means that you're going to have some trouble attacking the enemy. So the best idea for him is to keep him with some kind of halo user or try to pincer the enemy as much as possible in order to increase his percentage on attack and all that. So that's what I would recommend. But otherwise, one of a very good character to have in the front line, even if you're a little bit questionable about his uh, attack percentage. Still a very good tank, no matter what. Uh, we look at his command range is at four. It's uh, it's average, it's, it's uh, pretty good. Um, He's one of the leaders of the United Islands of Morelva, so it's actually quite good. Uh, three isn't so good, and uh, five is exceptionally awesome. So he's kind of like right in the middle there. Uh, growth rate and growth, sort of average there, ENC, uh, considering his level and uh, you know where he uh, sits within the uh, the status ratio of the country. So he is one of the top knights that you can pick and use and feel confident about having in the front line as a tank is concerned. Uh, I would be cons I would be a little concerned putting him up against other mages because his intelligence is only at 52, which isn't uh, which isn't as amazing. But uh, yeah, so Viking. So if you have an axe to grind, uh, you can give it to him. He'll be quite good there. So that's some of the stats there. As you can see on the right, you can see all that stuff. You can see that there is a faint immunity to him, so don't worry about pitting him up against giants or anything that will faint. Once you become a Viking, you are immune to faints, and Ginny is right there. And also you get counter damage up to S, so increased damage done by counterattacks up to 20. So like I said, a perfect frontliner, a perfect tank. So you put him in the front line, and people try to attack him and wail on him, and he'll give out 20% more damage to any of those that do that. So, fantastic knight to put in the front lines. Never keep him in the back. You will be uh, short-sighted and not do very well in your battle by doing so. Unless you're up against a whole bunch of mages and you're worried about, you know, getting bombed. <laughs> so, just be wary. Be concerned. You know, just, you know, make sure you're not going up against too many divine rays or curses. And uh, other than that, he should be totally fine in the front line. Okay. So magic skill, what do we got going forward here? We have Raging Crash, 145 power, accuracy, boost, which is pretty good, an element of fire, everything he has is fire. I find it interesting the Vikings have fire element, even though they love to run in the water. A little bit of a crossbreed there. Uh, and uh, all right, so let's look at the next skill in here. Now this one requires you to use MP that he has in his slot here, he has 127 MP. So not a lot of MP. But the MP that he uses will power up his basic attack. So just think about it a bit like a like a power spell added to your attack, right? So this is a single attack. The only problem with this is it's minus 40% accuracy. So you kind of want to give him a halo spell beforehand or make sure you're doing this on somebody that is pincered. 
uh, to give you an accuracy boost. But it is one of the most powerful attacks you can do with a Viking in a game. The power is 250, and uh, it will be a very powerful strike. You will see this, and you will love it. Uh, just make sure you're going with Halo or Pincer attacks for this so that you don't miss the attack. You'll be very sad if you do. All right, so now we have uh, Disaster Swing. And uh, as you can see, it just hits everything around in a circle. And also with the little boots with the X on it means it's a pre-move. So you got to move to the place, end your turn, wait till the next turn rolls over, and then you can do this move here. It doesn't cost any MP. So the greatest thing is you can put this guy into front line, keep doing this as much as you want. Uh, just make sure you don't have your friendlies nearby you and enemies completely surrounding you. You'll just swing your ax in a circle and bam, everybody gets hit. Equal opportunity damage right there. Pretty cool. And you don't have to worry about counterattacks from this one too. So that's actually quite nifty. And if you got him in the water, it increases his accuracy and evasion. So uh, this one won't really matter for that, but it, just him being in the water is pretty much the best you can do because he is considered a water creature without the water heal. So his accuracy boost and evasion boost will, will crank up when he's in the water. All right. All right. So Raging Hurricane. This is the thing that Vikings get. Now, this is just a step up from Disaster Swing, but it does cost MP. And uh, it's pretty much like Disaster Swing. It's a pre-move, but it does cost 100 MP. And it cranks it up, up the power from 120 to 200. So 80 more power points boosted up beyond that and has a 10% chance of inflicting faint. So you can faint the entire group that is surrounding you and uh, faint them all while whilst doing an amazing attack. So that's really, really good. Uh, I love Vikings in this game. They're one of my favorite characters. It's kind of an offshoot from the Avenger class from Grand Edition. Definitely check it out, okay? And that is also a pre-move too. So all these last ones here are pre-moves as you can see. All right, so profile, let's go over this. Ginny is a male 66 class Viking. And his background is the chairman of the United Islands of Morelva. His body is covered from head to toe in mermaid tattoos, earning him the nickname Mermaid Ginny. His natural strength and sense of responsibility earned him the respect of many, resulting in his appointment of chairman. Nowadays, however, his fondness of rum has made him a sad drunk who can't help but reminisce about the good old past. Despite this, he is still one of the strongest men in Morelva and for the sake of his beloved daughter Stella, will use his massive form to tear up the battlefield and overwhelm enemy armies. A really good tank, one of my favorites. Even though his agility is not the greatest, he's just a very lovable tank, and uh, you might love using this guy too. So thanks for watching this video here. Uh, you know, do what you can to help the channel grow if you, if that's what you want to do. And uh, I'll see you in the next night guide video for Legend of Renarzia. All right, everyone, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Victorious, sire!